Okay, you guys all set? All set. Ready yeah. to go. Yeah, we just got back. Uh, looking for one right now. Uh, can send you some comments if you want. Okay, so I, I, I think I can set two there. Yeah. Stand by. Here at Irving Woodlands, we've been looking after forests for over a hundred years. Looking after forests means more than just managing the wood supply. It also means ensuring that we are storing carbon, we have quality wildlife habitat, biodiversity and clean water. We know that over the next hundred years the climate is going to continue to change. That is why we're investing in research to understand the effects of climate change on our forests. My name is Serge Couturier, I'm a wildlife biologist. Le Coup 58. We are here in southern New Brunswick now to uh, capture moose, moose calves, uh, on a study to, um, to estimate the effects of winter ticks on, on the moose population. We will be experimentally uh, manipulating the tick level by applying a caricide, same kind of a caricide that we use for our pets at home uh, to make sure there's no ticks on them. So, uh, so we're applying those acaricides, and uh, there, an important factor here is that we're, it's really for the experiment to, to, to create a control group within a population. During all this, this process, we have a veterinarian with us, that, and we're monitoring their, their um, uh, temperature, uh, respiration, so to be sure that everything is okay with the animal. And then we, we provide, the, uh, we antagonizing the, the sedation and the animal, and then we release the animal so we can get back at the end his habitat and we can, we can following for the, the following year. Moose is an animal that's associated with, with young forest. So uh, we find them on young forest, they, they, they feed on, on, the, on the browse that's available at their level. Uh, so they're really associated with, with young forest uh, following either natural disturbance or uh, human disturbance like, like cuts. So that's where you'll find them. I'm really excited to be working on a project like this because I know that moose throughout the northeastern United States and other parts of their range have experienced significant declines over the past uh, few decades. I can assess whether or not moose that are heavily parasitized by ticks differ in their movement patterns when compared to moose that have no ticks at all or differ in their selection of habitat compared to those without ticks. We're a land manager and a, and a steward of the land, and so we're interested in this research so that we can understand how moose populations are changing on the landscape, and uh, we can use that information to adapt our management. As well, we're, uh, we're a funder of this uh, program. We're proud to be a, a funding partner in this collaboration. With all the, the support we received during this capture operation from GD Irving, it, it really means a lot. It makes those projects possible and it makes uh, it possible for science to go further.